We're at uh, Tamum Mai Tai. We're going to be working with professional fighters, uh, showing them how to take care of themselves and take care of each other. It's going to be uh, great. Just hang in here and watch. Uh, get in the feet. Okay, uh, so come on, uh, hang in a circle. Uh, <clears throat> so, who here knows what we do? Anybody? Are you all? Anybody here know what we do? Okay, you do. Yeah, you do. A million other people know what we do. So we did a uh, we did a session uh, with you and your wife, and, uh, and what we did is uh, we Human Garage used to be a clinic, and we worked with professional athletes. I've worked with UFC fighters all over the world, um, but mostly athletes, Olympic athletes, of, um, basketball, football, stuff like that. What we did is we built a series of techniques to help take care of our own body. Anybody here got any aches and pains? Yeah, okay. <laughs> so our goal here, our, our test here is if you can actually get yourself out of pain by the time you leave here. Okay? That's the whole idea. When you're in pain, your body doesn't work right, your brain doesn't work right. It narrows your focus. You don't see opportunity. You don't digest right. You don't process right. You don't heal right. You don't sleep right. So the idea is to be able to get your body out of pain quickly and easily. So what we're going to do is take you through some self-care movements first. Um, they're going to seem very simple, and they're going to be very powerful, okay? So don't judge them on how simple they are to do. It's what the effects of them are. And then what we're going to do is we're going to break it down and show you how to work with each other. So um, part of this practice is if you have any kind of issue in your body, like a shoulder pain, a neck pain, a hip pain, uh, if you've got racing thoughts, anxiety, depression, anything like that, you'll be able to work that out. Uh, pretty quickly here, and you're probably going to get a little high as we do this. So, anybody here opposed to getting high? <laughs> yeah, you're going to get high on your own supply, okay? So, what we're going to do is like we're going to warm up and start off with it. And what I mean by warm up is we're going to get you into your bodies, into your uh, out of your heads, and into your bodies first, okay? So, uh, we've got a couple people around in shirts and uh, that are with us. They'll be walking around. We'll be is there anybody here that, that doesn't want to be touched? Okay, sorry, no. Okay, good. Because what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you how to do things. If you're in a wrong position, we're gonna, we're gonna uh, correct the form, etc. Everything that we're doing here is available online. These are free. Now these are being used by, over the last three years, roughly about 20 million people in the world. There's about three and a half million people online. They're doing this, everything from professional fighters to hospitals, uh, to trauma therapy, and I know what you guys are fighting sometimes is to get a little bit of trauma out. <laughs> and your your uh, your um, uh, your treatment that's online was absolutely unbelievable because you you just felt like a completely new person. Well, that was your experience, right? And um, and if you haven't watched it, go to our Instagram and check it out. So, the very first thing is uh, is there anybody here dealing with any really strong physical issues today that they need to work out? Nobody? Okay, who here? Okay, 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 got it, got it. Got it, you're working through it. Okay, so let's, uh, we're gonna start off and we're gonna go through these basic, uh, basic warm-ups. And what they do is they're gonna warm your body up in rotation. We're taught to do everything linear, right? But actually in Muay Thai, you're not. You're actually rotating, right? Rotation is where all the adaptation and power of the body comes from. So we're gonna actually, we're gonna do these movements in rotation. So that's gonna bring you back into your power and your center, okay? So we're gonna start off here. Take your right foot, put over top of your left foot. Okay, follow along on this fashion maneuvers class. Take your right arm, put it underneath left armpit and left arm on top and what you're doing is you're grabbing your outside of your body your fascia think of yourself as a balloon you're restricting the balloon so as you turn turn your head to the left pull in your belly button squeeze your sex organs and turn your body to the right now take your tongue and push it into your left cheek so turn your head to the left body to the right take your tongue push it into your left cheek Really hard, and we're gonna breathe six times. So breathe in. Two. Three. 
keep turning if you can, like tightening up like a corkscrew. Four, five, six. Okay, now drop your tongue, pull your belly button in, turn a bit further. Now purse your lips and breathe in like you're, like you're sucking air into your lungs. Breathe in and hold it. More, more. Packing that air for those of you who do breath work and then exhale. Turn a bit more, breathe in. More, more. And exhale. Breathe in. More, more. Exhale. Now we're going to take six breaths into the nose, out the mouth. Breathe in. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Okay, now we're going to come back to center. And then keep, your, keep yourself wrapped up. Turn your head to the right. Turn your body to the left. Put your tongue in your right cheek, push in there hard and breathe six times. Breathe in. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Turn a bit more, squeeze the belly button, squeeze up your sex organs, drop the tongue, purse the lips, draw air like you're sucking for a straw. More, pack that air in, more, and exhale. Breathe it again. More, more, turn a bit more, and exhale. One more time, breathe in. More, more, and exhale. In through the nose and out through the mouth, breathe in. Deep breath in. Again. Again. Two more. One more. Okay, now take a deep breath in, hinge at the waist, fold over as far as you can, as far as comfortable. Turn your body a little bit more to the left, head to the right, and then exhale. Breathe in three times. Two. Three. Now bend your knees and come down a, a little bit into a ball. And this is where you're going to get your shoulder and your hip. Squeeze your spine and breathe in three times. Two. Three. Okay, come on up. Okay, when you come up, you might get a little bit dizzy. That's normal. Get your head a little bit. Let that settle for a second. And then what we're going to do is we're going to scatter and walk around. So walking is how you integrate it. You know when you get hit really good, you walk it off. It's the same thing. So just walk around a little bit. You can walk in a figure eight or anywhere. Notice the changes in your body. Did you notice any at all? For a lot of fighters, the first change you'll notice is your perception. You get calmer and lighter. Lighter, right? Yeah. Floating, yeah. So if you're exploding, you can exert more force with less effort. Okay, let's go back in the circle. It's a little surprising for not doing much, right? So this is what we're doing is working with fascia. Fascia works in rotation. We're taught to exercise and to work out and to stretch linearly. If you stretch like this, you're actually damaging tissue. Stretching, these release the restriction on your body. I'm gonna say something that's a little hard to conceive at first, but muscles don't get tight. What happens is your fascia, if it gets restricted, 
you have a hard time lifting through the restrictions. What we're doing in this practice is removing the restriction so that you have more ability to articulate your muscles. That's why you feel lighter. Super simple. Let's do the other side. Left foot over. Left arm underneath right armpit and right arm on top. And if you have a balance issue, you can go wider. Or if you have a hip issue, you can go wider. Because the hips will, if you go wider, it'll lock up your hips better. Turn your head to the right and your body to the left. So this is totally twisted. Put your tongue in your right cheek, pushing hard, and then breathe in six times. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, drop that tongue, purse your lips like you're sucking air through a straw, suck in deep and hard. More, pack that air in, more, one more. Exhale. There you go. Breathe in. More. More. Exhale. Again, breathe in. More. More. Exhale. Into the nose and up to the mouth six times. Two. Three, four, five, six. Okay, slowly come back to center. Turn your head to the left and your body to the right. Fascia likes to move slow, muscle likes to move fast. Pull your belly button in, stick your tongue in your left cheek, and breathe in six times. Two, three, four, five, six. Drop the tongue, purse the lips, breathe in and hold it. More, pack that air in, more. One more, push the air down into your belly. And exhale. Turn a bit more. Breathe in. More. More. Exhale. Breathe in again. More. More. One more. Okay, keep your breath held. Fold over. Hinge at the waist. And exhale. <laughs> Breathe in three times. Two. Three. Bend your knees. Come down into a ball. Twist further. And breathe. Two. Three. Okay, come on up. Make it a little higher this time. Your body's getting used to the serotonin and dopamine. Enjoy it. Walk around. <laughs> you guys feel a little high? Yeah. Yeah, it feels so high they're going to want to regulate it at some point. They're going to want to put a license on it. Here's the funny thing. Drugs don't make you high. Drugs stimulate your body to release hormones that you feel high from. Yes, There's better ways to get high than doing drugs. Okay. Okay, the next one is the ultimate spinal decompression. For anything you're doing, your spine, when it decompresses, everything starts to open up. I'll show, show you what it looks like first before we do it. We're going to be looking up and breathing, and then we're going to look down and breathe, and we're going to rotate. Now, your, your tendency is going to want to go like this. I want you to rotate that neck because a lot of you guys got neck issues, right? Yeah. Okay. Then we're going to squat, steer squat. We're going to rotate the whole spine. And then we're going to do a full squat and we're going to come up like this and I'll guide you through it. So take your hands first of all. 
You're going to pin the skin on the back of the neck and pull it up, for stretching the skin up towards the base of the spine, pinning it on the skull. Pull your belly button in, squeeze your sex organs, squeeze your rectum and look up. Breathe in three times through the mouth. Two. Three. Three times the nose. Two. Three. Slowly bring your chin to your chest. When you get all the way down chin to chest, pull your belly button in, stretch the neck a little bit further. Breathe in with your mouth and hold it. Look up to the right, like you're swimming. And exhale down. Breathe in, look up to the left, exhale down, go slow, breathe in, to the right, and down. Breathe in, to left, and down. Breathe in, to the right, and down. Breathe in, to left, So for those of you following along, this is anti-gravity. Okay, what we're gonna do is soften the knees, stick the bum out, ski your squat. Pull your head away from your butt, breathe out, breathe in, look up to the right, and down. Breathe in, to the left, and down. Two more times, breathe in, to the right, and down. Breathe in, left, and down. One more time, right, and down, left, and down. Okay, full squat, if you can. If you can't, just do your best. Pull your elbows between your, your knees. Try to pull your elbows to your groin. Pull your head down. Tighten your spine and breathe in. Two. Three. Through your nose, breathe in. Two. Three. Okay, now come up, bump first, head down. Leave those elbows hanging. Feel the hamstrings engaging. Tighten your spine and come up slowly, one vertebrae at a time, until you reach the ceiling. When you get to the ceiling, hang out there for a second. Let all the spinal fluid start to drain. And then release. Oh, now this one's gonna make you feel good. Go for a walk. <laughs> Yeah, it's like you just hit something, right? <laughs> How are you guys feeling? How are you? Everybody's starting to feel good. I can see smiles coming out. When they came in here, everybody looked angry. Now everybody looks happy. How's everybody feeling? Very good, very good. How are you feeling? Bye. How are you feeling? Lots of smiles. Okay, I'm gonna do a couple more quick ones that are rotation based really heavily. They were designed for racket sports and for fighting, okay? So we're gonna go athletic stance. You're gonna take your left hand, put it on your right shoulder. So this is just one Your right way. hand, you're gonna grab the skin on the elbow and lock it, like pull it down and lock it. Turn your head to the left and pull your body around to the right like you're gonna hit a golf ball, okay? Drop your knees down, squat, stick your bum out, and tighten your spine and breathe in. Two, three. Take your right foot, step behind. Now you get more rotation. This is for you guys who fight. This is the one. Breathe in. Two, three. Okay, come on back up. Okay, move around. That one just feels good. It unlocks the spine. You're gonna get a little bit high there. <coughs> Might feel like you're gonna pass out for a second. That's pretty normal. Like I said, it was funny. I came in here, you all had scowls on your face. Now you're all smiling. <laughs> <laughs> so, again, you're seeing this as a rotation, right? As a rotation, when you're fighting, you're rotating. And what happens when you over-rotate over a long period of time, 
you lose the flexibility in this part of your hip. So you lose your whip. Like when you're, when you're fighting and you're younger and you kick, you whip. But then after a while, it becomes more of a hip thrust. So these movements will help you unlock your hips. Athletic stance. Right hand on left shoulder. Take the skin down, pull it, lock it on your elbow. Turn your head to the right and pull your body around. Drop down, pull your bum back and breathe in. Two. Three. Now left foot behind in a good stance. Pull and rotate more and breathe in. Two. Three. Walk around, feel those legs, feel those hips, feel your knees, bounce around a little bit, see how you feel. Good. You guys noticing a bit more spring to your chest again? The head's gone, yeah. Yeah. The reason, and Eddie was saying, why is that so fast? Because it's only like three breaths or six breaths and your head's spinning. It's because we're opening up the fascial zones. The fascia works in three zones. The head, from the neck to the pelvic floor, pelvic floor down. When you're counter-rotated, is the highest adaptive state. That's why you go like this when you're throwing a baseball, hitting a ball. It's when you're kicking, it's all counter-rotation. And all stretching and all working out is opposite of counter-rotation. So it's diminishing your ability. Take your hand and go like this and try your range of motion with an open hand. Okay, feel how far you can go where your restriction starts. Now you clinch your fist, do the same thing. You lose your range of motion, right? So the body, when, it, when it's not functioning, when you grab a barbell, you're losing your range of motion. When you train with a weight, you're losing your range of motion, which then comes up as an injury later on. So injuries aren't to due to age, they're due to overtraining in the wrong way. And this is part of it, is to learn how to unwind that. So you're still doing it or Oh, no, sorry, man, sorry. Okay, come on up. So what we're going to do is we're going to do some partner stuff, okay? You're fighting when? Friday. Friday, okay. So what is it, what's one of the biggest issues that you're having right now? Um, hips. Neck. Neck pain. A little bit of stiff hips. Okay, okay, stiff hips, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to do one movement. Uh, it's neck pain over here, right? Yeah, I may need this side. Okay, okay, and it's because that one's your kicking leg, right? Yeah, it is. Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to give him this kicking leg back. I'm going to get you to, and you guys are going to practice this. You can work with each other. Take your right leg, get up, step up three feet, and walk the knee. I'm sure another way. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay, walk the knee. Right leg. Like, yeah, that's good. Thing. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in, I'm going to grab the inside of his thigh, and I'm going to twist outward. Okay, now give yourself a hug. No, give yourself a hug. I'm going to stabilize him with my knees here, in an advanced move, and I want you to squat. And turn your head to your left and breathe. So all I'm doing is I'm using his weight to do this. I don't have to have much force. Because it's his weight that's doing this. Breathe. Okay. And walk around. What's that feel like? Is that dizzy? Yeah, it feels good. It's a miracle. My arms. <laughs> <laughs> you got a pad? It's you like a kick? Let's kick it fast. Feels light, right? Yeah. Oh wait. So let's let's see, let's see how it feels like when you put it in the action now. Watch out today, this arm. Oh shit. Close. Am I okay? <laughs> 
How's that feel? Tight. It's tight, right? Yeah. You got your whip back. That, that difference in force is at easy 50 to 75% increase in force doing it one single time. Okay? So what I want you guys to par pair off, I'm going to help you. Pair off with somebody, and I'm going to get you to do this with, with somebody else. So just pair off. Grab a partner. <laughs> Or hug Gary. Or or no, let's do Okay, so what you're gonna do is take your right foot, tee it up. Right foot, tee it up. Okay. You're going to step out three feet off the knee. Okay, now you're going to approach with your right hand to the inside of the thigh. Reach underneath. Uh, on the, so on the right side of the thigh, reach underneath and pull it around like you're rotating the thigh outward. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah, yeah, you're going to squat both legs. Squat, squat. 
There you go. There you go. Perfect. Wait six times. about it? Oh, just like mostly the feeling high. The feeling I high. would say, yeah. Thanks. I feel like there's so much you can say about that off camera. Remember, which one is all about that, it's all about that hip back. So if you get your hip rotation back, then you have your arm around. That's just great. That's just going to make a difference in the fight. Okay. You guys almost done? A couple more. It Almost ready. And then we're gonna get into arms. Oh yes. Uh is there do you think everything do you have a I have a shirt? You have a shirt? I have a shirt. Hey, grab a shirt. Yeah, it's gonna work better with a shirt. Perfect. Grab a shirt of time. Can I, can I, can I work with you there? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So Hey, pull on in. This one's gonna like change your entire relationship with your neck, shoulders, and hips. I have a great idea. Yeah. I'm gonna do this side. So what I'm doing is I'm wrapping, I'm wrapping up the wrist just so I have to grip. Okay. I'm gonna give a snake bite or Indian burn. Can't say that anymore in America, apparently. So. I'm just going to counter turn. Now we're going to sit down together like we're dancing. So sit, put your head, I'll help you. Put your foot up and head down. And more, more, reach out to me. There you go. So what I'm doing is I'm leveraging our weight to do this. And I'm going to pull around. Okay, good. Move around. <laughs> You're a lot looser, right? Yeah. <laughs> so this one, oh. we get, yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, gosh, my right shoulder is actually really messed up too. It's like when I do stuff, it like drops sometimes. Yeah. Like it's up in here. And it, it's, it's not messed up, up in here. Anymore. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not. Your right shoulder was messed yeah, up. Yeah, it was messed up. Okay. So I don't want to take a partner away from the front of that one. So grab, grab the wrist. Um, Okay, grab the wrist like this again, counter turn, you guys should be able to, and squat back together. So you notice I'm matching your weight, because if I sit down like this, I'm going to pull her off. It's more like a dance, okay? It's not about power. It's about getting that balance point. When you're balanced, the body releases the fascia, okay? So give that a shot. Grab the right wrist, give it a counter turn. You're going to twist like this. Yes. Yeah. 
Yeah. Like you're wringing out a towel. Yeah. 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 Like you're wringing out a towel. Yeah. Yeah. Like you're wringing out a towel. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, keep your head down. There you go. And then you can move around against his his weight, like or his the belt. There you go. So yeah, you can move. You can put your hand on the ground. You can uh, back up a little. I mean, just whatever. There you go. There you go. You got it. And you just keep your head down as much as you can because you want to keep this fascia line. There you go. You got it. Perfect. That's enough. So. And so you just you just kind of anchor and you let him move. Oh, I'm I'm holding you. I'm moving. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So you're just kind of you're kind of balancing against each other. Yeah. And then you're allowing him to move against your, and you're just kind of dancing with him. So it's more of his movement than yours. You got it. Yep. And keep breathing, both of you keep breathing. And then you can even, with a third person, like, if you come in and just like push down. Yeah, there you go. And you're not pushing him down, you're pushing the fascia down, like on his hips. And that'll give some extra stretch in there. Nice. And then when you're ready to come up, you come up and then you, you can release. Yep. So how do you feel from one side to the other? Yeah. And they would go off 
because I couldn't get to them. So they needed, I had to develop things that they could do in uh, like a hotel room. So that's really what it was. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Okay. So I'm going to advance this. I'll take her nerve issue off right away. I guess. Because your shoulder was rotated, did you feel that? the knees, I'm going to walk up on them, like here, okay, now I'm going to take and pull the body this way, lift your head, and breathe. Again, it's a little jujitsu, sorry guys. Okay. So that's where the hip is, you know that, right? Okay. So what I'm doing is I'm just walking up on him, I'm lifting his head. By grabbing his neck, it, com it converts the entire spine. And if I roll over him like this, it rolls the hips up. Right there. Okay. Let's see how that feels. Walk around. Yeah, and walk, walk, go. Uh, I can already know. So knees. I can't really touch the floor like as easy as I use the Okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how you touch the floor like that, anyway. Walk, <laughs> walk, walk, walk. Just walk around, let your body. 
So this is again, another one really powerful for Jiu Jitsu, another one really powerful for, for Muay Thai, and it's really powerful for just people who got hip and lower back issues, okay? So let's go, let's get one down on the ground, okay? And then we'll walk around. So one down on the ground, bring both knees up, cross, cross one knee over. And you breathing. Push one leg over. Yeah, and then stop. Yeah, look there for a second. Don't rock. Just get him to a spot. There you go. And then move slowly to the next spot. Yeah, and you, you may put your weight on him. Get your knees down. Yeah, yeah, get the knees down. Now, when your knees are down, you have the weight. So you're leveraging the hips. Make sure you're breathing. Make sure you're breathing. Bring your arms in and hug yourself. Bring your arms in and hug. Yep. Yep. And then you can turn your head. Oh, I'll well, get you. When, when they have enough flexibility, it's harder because you get, you get stuck. Uh, I have the same situation. Gotcha. I used to give us a little extra. <laughs> oh, I can feel that one. It's a sweet pain. Other side. Do you need help from baby Jesus? Because we can bring him in. I think I experienced that's it. Yeah, that you're doing it. You can roll on them. There you go. Now, get to the right. Yeah, and you can move to the one way and then hold it. Yeah, you can you, you can leverage. You can also grab under here to get more leverage too. Yeah. There you go. Think about pulling the shoulders. There you go. Make sure you're, you're both breathing. Make sure you're both yeah, breathing. I, I was not. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 
hard to remember sometimes. Yeah, it's almost four o'clock. You'll get a feel for it. it. You'll feel the body just relax. Yeah. And when the body relaxes, it's just tensing. It doesn't want to move. Doesn't want to move, and then it lets go. It and that's the pressure problem. Now that you need too much tension because you tried it for the first time. For me, then. Well, I mean, he's got a lot of tension in his hips. When I work with him, yeah, when I worked with him the other day, there's a lot of tension. So this, so he's working out a lot of tension on his hips. So the more you do it, the easier it gets. Yeah, and you just feel like. <clears throat> yeah, you guys are good. One half. <laughs> hey, you guys, think about it. You, you know, in just a couple minutes, you're doing things that practitioners can't do for you. Literally, in a couple minutes. So that makes you some of the best practitioners on the planet already, right now. That's how simple this is. And and we have we have a, a series of movements. Uh, Self-care ones that we'll do, and we'll send them to you to Eddie, like some ones that we recommend for you guys. We have some self-care ones that you do yourself, and then these partner ones that you do about once or twice a week. Do not do these every day um, with each other, because you're going to get your body used to moving itself. And that one that we just did, it's like this for myself. So it's the same thing, but I'm doing it myself. <clears throat> yeah, we'll do a couple more. One for the uh, wrist, shoulder, and hands for punching, and then one for your fingers, and then we'll wrap it up there. So take your right hand, put it out like this. Take your left hand, pull it back, should be a little tense. Raise it above your head, upwards, like you're holding a tray, okay? Push up on the shoulder and pull down with the hand. Squat, and take your right leg and put it back, if you're, or left leg, whichever. And then breathe. Now it's gonna hurt for a minute. It's gonna hurt. Oh, please. Yeah, that was good. Okay. So the reason why is that you throw, you exert like this. So all the energy comes to the outside of the arms. You don't get any energy on the inside of your arms. You're not pulling. That's not your that's not your style of fighting. You're not grappling and pulling in. You're striking out. So that's why this one's super powerful because if you reduce this internal tension, you get more power in your punch. Okay. Like this. Hands above the head. Slowly bring that elbow down. Shoulder height. Turn it out. Squat, and with that same foot, bring the same foot back, twist, turn your head the opposite way, and breathe. Okay, walk around a little bit, feel that. Let's see the clock. Okay. Let's see the clock. Oh yeah, that's going to be great for everybody. Yeah. Like painful type. Okay, last one. We're gonna sh we're gonna show you a couple fingers. Take your hands, put them together. Grab your take your left hand, grab your right thumb, 
Like a motorcycle, turn the skin around the thumb away from you. Yeah, away from you. <laughs> pull them apart. Okay? Now pull your left elbow around. Turn your head to the right. Squat and breathe. Come on up. Now what I want you to do is take a walk and feel your right foot, your right hip. Feel your right side of your body, and it feels should feel a little bit lighter. If it doesn't, that's okay too. But that one movement there, that restriction in that lung we're in, is what takes away the power of your punch. Now you can do all fingers like this, but what we're, we're going to do is we're just going to do a couple, okay? To see if you feel it. Right hand, grab the left thumb, turn it away, pull it down, pull it apart. Pull your right elbow around, turn your head, squat, and breathe. If you really want to ramp it up, take your left foot, step behind, and twist more. That's an advancement. <clears throat> then. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, we didn't do anything for your head, so we gotta do a little something for your head. Okay, so there's three zones in the body. If you only work this and this, you're gonna get pressure here. If you got pressure in your head, headaches, neck aches, or whatever, most likely it's because you haven't done anything up here. So we have a whole head routine. Again, I'm gonna be sending this over to Eddie, and you guys can work on it, and you can just cruise our site. We have hundreds of these things, okay? but. We're going to take our hand, our right hand, and put it on the palm and facing back on the temple of the right side, facing backwards. Left hand on the temple facing forwards. Squeeze your head together like a big zip. Twist the skin, like twist and come to the top. Then look up and breathe three times. Turn your body to the right, look up further and breathe. Turn your body to the left, look up and breathe. And then come for a skier squat and just go back and forth really slowly. Moving your head all the time. Whatever feels good. <clears throat> your head and neck around. That should give you a bit more movement, your head and neck. Uh, give me more movement on my head and neck. Okay, uh, last one for today. Take your thumbs, you put it in the ears. You're gonna grab the top of your ears, you're gonna turn it, like really hard turn it. Like if you're not in pain, you're probably not doing it right. Okay, open and close your jaw three times. Look up and open and close three times. Chin to chest, open and close three times. With your chin at your chest, look up to the right. Open and close. Look up to the left. Open and close. Skier squat, go back and forth. <clears throat> now get up and walk around and enjoy the quiet in your head. Because you get hit in the head, your head gets pretty noisy. <clears throat> <laughs> guys feel pretty good <clears throat> so what we want you to do is start using this stuff go out there and win fights Literally, go out there, this is a secret weapon. It's being used in some of the top athletes in the UFC right now, but it's not used at scale. Use this as a weapon. There's partner releases we're gonna give you, there's self-releases. The more of this you do, the more power you can exert. And I'm telling by, a, by force of double. I, was, I spent most of my life, if you go online and take a look, at between 215 and 230, I was a bodybuilder. And 
I am at the lightest I've ever been, roughly a little under 170 right now, but I can carry two times the weight that I could carry at my strongest. And I used to bench uh, 450 and squat 680. So I can do more today because I have less restriction. And that's what I want for you. I want you to be able to exert your, your force and your power. If you take away those injuries, you fight better, you fight longer, your career doesn't end because you got an injury. And when we worked with uh, Eddie here, I mean, it was like, it was life changing. I mean, I could see it in your eyes. It was opening up. And what, that's what we want for all of you guys, because you put your body in a lot of stress. So thank you for your time today. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Thank you. Thank you, Eddie. Appreciate it, man. Really, really do appreciate it. This is, uh, is going to be fun to watch what happens out of here. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, everybody. Hey, Gary. So what's your reflection of that class? You know, it's, uh, it's great because what we're doing is we're having them release in a uh, multidiscipline style. So they're releasing in a style that they're not used to. And uh, I love it because these guys are hardcore using their bodies and the changes in them is instantaneous. So this is what we're here to do. We're here to help people in their lives. And if you're going to fight, this is the way to do it. And it can be applied to any uh, martial arts, correct? Any martial arts, yeah, absolutely. Awesome. Um, thank you. Mm. Thank you. <clears throat> so what do you guys think? I uh, that? I like it a lot. It's something something new, and I can feel the uh, the muscle is like it also. Yeah, watch, uh, see how you feel in about three days. Okay, okay. Yeah, cool, there's sure. a perception yeah. after you do a, a, a class, mm -hmm. you can feel it in about three days. Mm -hmm. You'll feel a lot more opening, especially if you're still doing some of the releases yeah. as well. Yeah. Good, good. Yeah. Thank you for. You're welcome. Answer this for a couple of minutes, right? So, so any questions about any of the injuries you have, any problems, anything you don't understand, um, maybe just ask Gary. Fair. Yeah. I'm open to it. I've got one. Okay. Okay. So, with, um, I've got like a, a neck problem, so sometimes it feels like, I'm not sure like if it's like, when you pop your neck, you're like, is that like a, my neck's out? Like, is there exercise you can, it feels like, I'm not sure, is it muscle, muscular, or is it skill, like my, my actual neck's out? What's the best thing to do? Is that like see a chiropractor, get a massage? Or? No, actually, just the maneuvers we're doing, we have a whole upper reset, but come over here. You can also take, as you guys get better at doing this, walk back, I'm going to take all your weight. Okay, bend your hips. So I'm just pushing his head up now. That's all I'm doing is slowly moving it. Come on up. Not that hard to do. Move around. <clears throat> So it's a good question because bones in the body don't touch except for the teeth, the ribcage, and the ears. Bones are not structured. That was our thing. I know that you've been taught this. It's not the way it works. Muscles don't move the body. Muscles stabilize the movement of the fascia. I'm, I'm throwing a big, big whale out there, but we have a lot of science and millions of people doing this now to, to evidence this. So I just want you to open up your thought process. You don't have a muscle issue. You have a fascial issue. If you got any problem in your body, it's fascia. If you got a pinched nerve, it's your fascia. If you got if you got a muscle that's that's torn, it's because your fascia restricted it and you moved it. So there's a way out of this, and you don't need surgeries. Uh, your your body's meant to heal itself. It just needs a condition. How's your neck feel? Feels good, yeah. And this and this is something you can all do that. That's super simple. And that'll take the need for having to go to, and listen, you may need to go to a chiropractor or a physical therapist, you may need that, okay? But you're only going to them for a moment. You gotta live in that body every single day when you fight. So it's about getting yourself out of pain. And it's about increasing your function. The more you do, the less they have to do, the better it is for you, okay? Great question. Yeah. Yeah. Your diet. Oh, diet. Oh, you guys don't want my diet. I, I just, I eat plant-based, but I've, I've been a guy, I've consumed 200 to 250 grams of protein every day for 35 years. If you go online, you'll see I used to be a national bodybuilder. So today I eat plant-based, I have a different viewpoint. I'm trying something out. I'm trying to reduce my muscle content so that I have more flexibility and range of motion, right? I couldn't do that a couple years ago. 
<clears throat> well, you know how there's a lot of, uh, around about people saying uh, storing like emotions or trauma in your body through injury. Yeah. I think this is like a big one, but different. It hasn't been touched on properly. Like I believe in it, but I just don't have enough information about it. Yeah. So basically, <clears throat> think of your body as a tuning fork that tunes your your actions, your brain, your emotions, and your perceptions all at once. It puts them together. So if you've got a problem with the shoulder, it's because you're emotionally carrying the weight from somebody. You're carrying the weight physically somebody, responsibility. If you've got a problem with the knees it's because you didn't feel supported. You can actually, if you want to look at it, Metaphysical Anatomy, that book, Metaphysical Anatomy, is really powerful because it'll tell you what the injury is. And really, I know it's like, no, it's because I was biking and I did this and I fell. But you fell a million other times, why did it go off that one time, right? So there's a reason for it. Your body does store emotions. Um, you may have some emotions coming out here in the next 72 hours. If they do and they seem a little bit um, weird, just go with it, okay? Um, fight them out. <laughs> guys like anything, like Jerry does like, like sleep and stuff like that. Yeah. If you're Okay, to optimize the recovery from training very hard, right? Yeah. What do you have any, like, how should we implement it? This is good for recovery also, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. so, 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 come here for a second. So, pull against me. Cool. So, what you're doing is you're exerting muscles. When you exert muscles, you're going to, you're going to fire adrenaline. Okay, now, when, when you do that, and you're fighting, you're using muscles. So, when you do a fascial maneuver afterwards, you loosen the, the tension around the muscles. That'll speed your recovery by three times. There's a stress reset that we have, it's 15 minutes. If you do it before you sleep, you drop into REM sleep uh, within 45 minutes to an hour rather than two to three hours. That increases your recovery okay. dramatically. Okay. And also will help with things like anxiety, okay. Uh, okay. frustration, stuff like that. Awesome. awesome. Yeah. But li literally, just do that stress reset and then we have it's a 15 minute stress reset. You can do it in about 10 minutes. Yeah. Do it Do it after, after you fight, do it. I have a... Um, okay. I, I, if you take the stress out of your body, because you build up all these uh, adrenaline, norepinephrine, and cortisol to fight, it takes six hours for those chemicals to leave your body. That's why when you get out of here, it's like, it's like somebody at the grocery store comes up to you and it's like, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> well, it, it takes six hours or it takes 10 minutes. So take the stress out, you recover faster. When you're stressed, your body doesn't digest properly, it doesn't rest properly. So just remove stress as much as you can. Can I say one more? Yeah. Uh, so I just fought uh, in the weekend, right? And I get low kicks. Is there some way to uh, reduce the, the impact of my yeah, the just, right? or, yeah, or yeah, just the same thing, whether you're doing it yourself or having somebody do it. Twist, yeah. squat, that same movement like this. Then I have one question. What about this, the twist in the skin? What is what does that do? Okay, when we walk, our muscles, they don't work like this. They work like this. So when we walk, we rotate. The body's muscles fire in rotation, but we train them in linear fashion. That's why we get injured. Since we uh, started doing things like yoga and professional sports, injuries have gone up 7,000%. We just fix them faster, but they're going up. People are getting injured every day now. They have more and more therapists on every professional sports yeah. team Today, they used to have one to two therapists on a team 30 years ago. Today, they got like 20 or 30 therapists. What was that? Because we're training with weights, we're restricting the joints when we move, we're stretching linear, stretching linear, like linear stretching. The body wants to go like that. Ah, okay, okay. Which is your, which is your fighting style? Your fighting style. Yeah, you never. Yeah, you yeah. Never you're always like yeah you're always like this yeah. so you're saying like static stretching straight static stretching is not good or static stretching is why people are injured yeah yeah wow i didn't know that Thank yeah you. well i mean the guys we were yeah. implementing this at the olympic level and at the protein levels we're talking to like 20 10 20 30 million dollar year player they're getting injured it costs the team money so when they were busted up they would come into the clinic this is what we did we started implementing rotational type stretching and that's what became later on a fashion maneuver that you do yourself. So you wouldn't stretch after exercise? I would do, I wouldn't stretch at all, ever. I, I'd never stretch. Do the fashion maneuvers. There's not a stretch that you can do 
that you can't do with a fascial maneuver. So what would you decide to do after an uh, uh, exercise? I say uh, you're going to find your own your own jam because each of you has different body parts, different issues. But the stress reset, the most important thing is to get the stress out. That's the first three movements that we did today. Those are the most important because when the stress is out, the body can heal itself. When the stress is in your body, it takes six hours without another stressful event for your body to start repairing itself. So take the stress out right away, right afterwards, whatever it is. Stress is from the session. Well, that's credit stress. That's stress. That's yeah. stress. Yeah. Yeah. And then after the session's over, you want to do something to like to get that like adrenaline out of your body or Yeah, yeah you exactly. That's why these things here, they get the dre- adrenaline out of the body really fast. Through like breathing as well, or it's the twisting and the breathing. Or? It's a twisting. It's a combination of twisting and breathing. Think of the breath as think of your body as a computer. Those breaths are buttons. They're pressing different buttons in different areas of your body. That's why the number sequence of breathing is important. You'll still get benefit if you do five breaths, but not the same as if you do six. So there, there. When in each one of the videos that we have shows you how to do it, how to breathe, really, really easy to follow. Awesome. Okay, can you speak? Yeah, okay, so uh, I have some pro fighters that I've worked with for years. You might see them sit in a corner, cross their ankle, go like this. You might not even know they're doing it. What they're doing is they're reducing the stress in their body. Because when you're stressed, you don't you stop seeing options. When you're calm, at the beginning of the fight, you see all the options, but by the time you got kicked in the head five times, you're just you're just trying to get through to the next, you know, you're trying to survive. So one of the things you can do in the corner when you sit down, if you sit down, is to just wrap your body like this and breathe. It'll take the stress out immediately. That's a standing fetal position, correct? Yeah, but you can do it seating. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, try it. It just it, it's right foot, right arm. <laughs> yeah. Guys, right, that's interesting. Yeah, yeah, do you do you give a shit what they think or do you give a shit how you fight, right? Yeah, see what you're doing when you do that is you're reducing stress, which means you have more pulmonary function, more lung function. You can absorb and, and take more oxygen in your body. I've seen like in Thailand, they used to be hands up and they hold you like, like what's that, the diaphragm one? So I don't know if it's true or Yeah, well, I mean, oh, this, this is getting your diaphragm right here. Yeah, yeah. yeah, this is actually loosening your diaphragm right yeah. here. Okay. Yeah, but that's that's what they're doing. They're trying to get more oxygen. So it very well. And it also like, puts you in a position where you're not, you're reducing the stress. And stuff. Yeah. Yeah, so if you reduce the stress, you see more options. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's why as you get towards the end of a fight, you can see somebody going down. Like You can see that they're just trying to make it through to keep their head in it. But if you take the stress out, it's like they're mentally processing like they did when they started the fight. One more long so. Yeah, yeah. That's good. So like a, if you're about to go out to fight and you want to be like have clarity and confidence and like remove the nerves and stress, you do the same sort of position or did something different like, same thing as a warm up or, same thing I know, I know what you want to do is you go in to get adrenaline right that is the worst thing to do for fighting it just brutes yeah. brute force like rah! I know that that is a tendency to do that but power comes from a place of calm not from a pace of well, place right now, I used to like, get geared up to try and get this place and I couldn't get it anymore but it's not about that it, that comes in the fight when you're hit yeah. I found the best thing was to be like Calm up, but I'm like, calm so, yourself so down. We've learned that, that, that you don't need to get in that geared up state to, to fight because it comes anyway when, when you fight. But so, how, how would you would you be calm be, to focus and stuff? You do a position, or? yeah, yeah, that, literally, literally. That if you're you guys sit in between or you stand, sit for the fight, okay, no, but in between rounds, oh, you can either. Okay. Yeah. Sit, yeah. sit, yeah. sit, yeah. guys, yeah. sit, cross your leg, just go like this on a stool, or yeah, sit on a stool, like uh. Yeah, like, like this. As long as you're like this, just breathe, it brings the stress down. It's a counter rotation that, that tells your brain that you're safe. Doesn't matter which direction you are, that why. No, it no, doesn't matter. Forward. As long as you're counter rotated. Yeah. Yeah. Does it restrict your breathing? No, it's actually, it's what it's doing is it's slightly restricting the breathing it's without stress so that the breathing opens up around the diaphragm. So it's actually opening up the diaphragm so that, because you're, you're getting kicked here. You're getting kicked there, right? Yeah. So that means that this is like tightening up. So if you go like this, 
It opens it up, it feels safe, the body feels safe, and it gives you more and more space. That's why the six breaths are important, because it's expanding as you're in that. You're just floor. trying to bring your stress, your adrenaline down. You look at that, you, you look at like, um, you look at the fighters, the ones who are calm, those are the ones that you worry about. Not the ones that are going, ah, you look at the ones that you have barely even you can you put barely this, even talk. Put this one underneath. You're calm. That one there. You go through it. Those are the ones who end up yeah. really, really. So twist really your body this ass, way. Right? Yeah. Your head this way. I have a specific question we had, especially before, but yeah. when it comes like to healing and regeneration, and everything, like really, we always like have problems with our ship. Maybe you see the bum bum on my ship. We always have like this stuff. Yeah, there. Yeah, 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 like a specific exercise. Yeah. That yeah. So grab your. Uh, your Y'all can sit down and do this with them. Shins, yeah. Push out with the foot and stretch your foot and move it around. So, and you, give, and you can go anywhere on the shin. And what this is doing is opening up the layers of fascia. Okay. Now stand up and, and feel that leg compared to the other one. Yeah, it works right away. Yeah, so this is like one of the most powerful things you can do because you are getting shin, shin care. This, this one here is called the Lower Reset. There's a, there's a 10 minute routine on our website called Lower Reset and Barefoot Sprinter Routine number two. This is the Barefoot Sprinter Routine. This is for runners too. I mean, it works for everything. But you do that before you walk out. Yeah, do you run, do before you fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah because I'm what happens sure. is you're, you're loosening up your ankles. And when you loosen up your ankles, again, you have more flexibility. You lose, use less energy to move. What kind of exercise are you going to do for knee problems? Um, the lower reset on our website will get it. And, uh, and the barefoot stretcher. The primary one, you guys, there's a lower reset, an upper reset, and a barefoot stretcher routine number two right on our website on our main page. And those are the most powerful generally for what you're doing. It's a set of movements together. And, and they're designed to loosen up the entire body in one shot. Basically, if you wanna if you wanna perform, you get everything loose. If you have your you guys notice that when we did that hand and the jaw, all of a sudden shoulders move better, my shoulders move better, my hips move better, my hips move better, less tension on my knees. Less tension on my knees, my ankles lock up fast. Nice. You know, it's uh they say that you know, hip bone connected to that knee bone. It's not that way, the bones don't connect, it's all connected by fascia. It's called connected tissue for a reason. Can you give a quick explanation of what fascia is? Okay, yeah, so fascia, <clears throat> you're taught that um, that a skeleton where none of the bones touch, take your knee. The bones don't touch if they touch your knee. How can it be structure if they touch? These beams are nailed together, well together. That's structure, they touch. So what happens is, is that there's only one muscle that crosses the knee, it's about this big. So that muscle ain't holding up your leg, your weight. And the tendons keep it from pulling apart. So what the structure is, is the fascia around there. Fascia is, is a crystalline structure, super intelligent, super light, and it, it is strong. It has a the, the, the break point, like it tears at a break point of 50,000 pounds. So you ever heard somebody tear a muscle? It sounds like somebody goes, oh, wham! It sounds like a gun goes off, right? That's because it's 50,000 pounds of exerted force. Fascia, that's what they're doing, is they're tearing fascia. When you hear, think about if you took your bones and you put them inside your body, it's all fluid in there, and you just moved them together, would they make a cracking sound? No, it's water, it's fluid in there. Bones don't even crack. It's the, it's the air between the layers of fascia that cracks when you get a crack in your neck. So again, I know what you've been told, that we're, we're educating the entire world, including practitioners, and bones are instructed. If you're cracked a lot, you're probably dehydrated. You want to increase your ability to fight, um, start taking diatomaceous earth and silica. Uh, right now, because of the chemicals in our world, um, we're depleting our silica. Without silica, we don't absorb minerals properly. If you want to perform better, take Irish moss and diatomaceous earth. What they'll do is they, the diatomaceous earth is a silica, it's a foundation, it's an element that allows you to absorb the minerals and you bring more hydration. So the cracking is the dehydration of the
Irish Sea Moss. And you guys, we have a nutrition guide on our website. You can download it that explains why these things are happening. Um, and and if you just start taking silica and Irish Sea Moss, you'll actually metabolize and hold water better and faster. You'll think better and clearer. You'll have more flexibility. Don't you take on like creatine? Yeah, creatine is good. But and when you reason why you're taking creatine is because you're not like, getting enough of it already. The reason you're not getting enough of it is too much stress in your body. Take the stress out. Like, take it from a guy who used to take steroids, right? A bodybuilder. Now, this is back in the 80s, just so you guys know. <laughs> Early 80s. Um, so, all of these things there are designed to enhance something, but they didn't exist when I was a bodybuilder. None of these things. Creatine, uh, nitric oxide. Uh, Pre-workouts, none of that existed. We, the reason they exist today is because we need them. We just didn't need them back then. You get what I'm saying? The bodies were in better shape. We had less injuries, we performed better. The way we get it is we get our bodies back hydrated. Most people are dehydrated. and The number one cause of dehydration is drinking too much water. Because we drink filtered water. You can't drink the water here. It's, it's demineralized. When water goes over a rock, how does it get minerals? It takes it out of the rock. It even wears the rock down. So if you don't have minerals in your water, then you are the rock, and the water is taking it out of you. So get minerals in your diet. Like that's why Irish sea moss and diatomaceous earth; those are like superpowers. Go we'll really light on the diatomaceous earth again. Go to our website. If you have specific questions, you can hit up, hit us up on Instagram, and we'll answer you. I'll send this to Eddie as well. Anything else? I'm sure everyone will have plenty of off gone, but that, yes. that was really good. That was really good. How come we never ask about erectile dysfunction? Let's <laughs> <laughs> stop drinking. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Uh, but I don't think many people have put their hand out with that one. <laughs> I'm still drinking. <laughs> well, What's if the they had erectile dysfunction, they'd have to use your hand because nothing else rises. <laughs> Okay, hey guys, thank you again. Thanks, it's a pleasure. I love, I love diatomaceous you earth. Because you guys, Irish sea moss and diatomaceous down, earth. It. And when you use this, you become super active. But make sure Remember, it's food grade diatomaceous earth. Everybody will be doing this in two years in the in martial arts. But right now, no one's doing it. Okay? This is your this is your secret weapon right now. So go out once play. Let us know. Give us some feedback. Let us know how it works for you. If you have specific questions, uh, ask them. We will answer them. Okay. Thank you again. Thanks for having me. Thank you. <laughs> no, the camera's here. Tell I us know. the truth. Tell us the truth. Yeah. Yeah. Getting all the fighters, like, information about the performance. Eh? I like his knowledge that uh, that ended up here and is for everyone's yeah. brain. It's just going to be like the butterfly effect. Right? I so, like that. So you had an experience uh, two, three weeks ago with fashion oh, yeah, moves yeah. for the first yeah. time, right? So, like, what's changed in your body or perception since since then? Or what's been the biggest thing, I guess? Or it's one thing? Like, for me, flex, like, so simple, like, flexibility, and just like, um, you know, like, actual relationships, and stuff like that, and just the way that makes your body feel loose and stuff like that, so keep that up, and it's really good. Excellent. a lot less restriction for you, yeah? I need to keep going. Yeah, you usually do it quite more high than Yeah, it'd be good for you to do this in the Yeah. Well, thanks for having us. And where, where are you located? Where is this gym located? Tulum, Mexico. Tulum, Mexico. All right. Excellent. Thank you.